Hey everybody, Anthony from SpecialtyMotorCars.net. Got a real nice one to bring you this week, folks. A 1999 Cadillac DeVille sedan, finished in a beautiful white diamond with a cashmere canvas roof. And as you can see, a matching fifth wheel or continental kit as most call it on the back. This car is a really clean, clean road car with 34,000 original miles on it. This car belonged to a very good friend of mine. You guys actually might have seen him in some of my videos, some of my posts, my buddy Paul. Uh, he bought this car off me some years ago uh, to make it his road car and he really just doesn't drive it. So it's time to move it on to someone who's gonna really enjoy this car um, and, and you know enjoy it, drive it daily, drive it on the weekends, whatever. It's just Paul doesn't do it. He's got an 88 Brome and this one just kind of sits around and stares at the wall in the garage. So this one is looking for a new home. It's a 99 DeVille, 34,000 original miles. The car is an amazingly clean car. Really a nice car if you're looking for a good one. Uh, he went through this car in the time that he had it. He put four new continental white walls on the car. It replaced the original Michelin XW4s that were on the car. Uh, he did four wheel pads and rotors. I should say I did four wheel pads and rotors because I ended up doing it. <laughs> Full wheel pads and rotors, and then rear air shocks and front struts were all replaced at the same time. So this car really handles well. It drives down the road very nicely, and it's in really, really nice shape. My buddy Paul is super picky when it comes to the cleanliness, especially interiors on these cars. Uh, so this one will definitely not disappoint you. Uh, but I, I, if you notice, I started the video from the back Obviously, this car's got a lot going on in the back with that fifth wheel ENG Continental kit hanging out in the back there. You don't see these anymore, but this was on the car and uh, it kind of gives it that very distinct look that matches the canvas top. Everything's in beautiful shape. And uh, if you like that, that overdone, you know, 1980s vibe look, this car is definitely a modern version of that car. But you can see here, we'll get up close how nice the canvas roof is. All the stitching and everything is absolutely gorgeous. All the way across the rear window and all the trim on the deck lid. Cadillac emblems are nice and clean, beautiful color. Uh, sorry about the wind, I don't know if you can hear it in the background. I'm obviously I'm outside again. The weather's been halfway decent. So I'm trying to do some videos outside. I love showing the cars off outside. Um, I think they uh, they photograph well in the sun. You get them at the right time of the day. If this is one of your first videos you've seen of mine. Definitely subscribe down below in that bottom right hand corner. And you know, just so everybody knows, on YouTube, the more content that I post and the more interactions I get from my uh, my watchers and my subscribers, uh, the more my channel grows. So even a thumbs up if you like the stuff you see. Thumbs down if you don't like the stuff you see. Uh, but a subscribe, a share, anything that you do, even write in a comment. Tell me what you think about these cars. I try to go through all my comments. I read them all. I, uh, I, I try to uh, write back to anybody who's got questions. So I, I do try to be interactive right back to you. And I appreciate all the love. We hit 20,000 subscribers just last week. I'm super excited about that. Back to the DeVille. I want to show you some of the... Uh, some of the features that the car has, but I'm also going to show you a couple, a couple little uh, cosmetic blemishes that the car also has. Before that, I want to get over here, show you how nice and clean this top is. It's really in great shape. Really a well cared for car. You can see here the Continental kit with the ENG cap. Now this, I don't know if everybody remembers, is a little pull tab right here. That pulls this down. However, uh, when someone installed this, it was wired electronically so that when you pop the trunk, the kit pops open automatically so you don't have to do that every time. I'll show you that when I do open the trunk up. Uh, but I just want to bring you around the car, show you some of the uh, some of the little defects here. Looks like at one point someone rubbed up against something here. It has been touched up, but I just wanted to point that out. It's kind of hard to see on the white car. It's got a nice tan pinstripe to match the top. A couple little spots here where there's a little bit of it missing. Uh, all the chrome on the bottom, you can see chrome on the rockers, 
all the way to the back on the bumpers. And then you got here the beautiful alloy wheels, 16 inch, they're in really nice shape. Just a couple little marks here and there, nothing crazy, they present very well. And like I said, those are four brand new Continental tires uh, that my buddy Paul put on the car. So those are recent. The mirror's in nice shape. All the glass, he did have the glass tinted. A very light tint, you can still see through it, but very classy and well done. We'll come up here. You can see this alloy wheel is in nice shape. A couple little marks, but yeah, these tires, these tires were replaced. 2018 is the day code on them. Uh, so they're only two years old and they probably only have a few thousand miles of wear on them. Oh, you can see the lenses are in nice shape, nice and clear. The chrome grille, beautiful stand-up hood ornament. Little bit of a rub mark right there that I, I actually touched this up and uh, you can see a little bit of a, a transfer there. Uh, all the chrome is in real nice shape on the bottom except for this panel here. It's got a little bit of like a water stain to it. I'm not sure how to polish that off. It is real stainless. So if you really get into it, I'm sure that would clean up. So here is a little wheel on this side. Nice shape as well. A couple little marks on this mirror. Must have maybe caught a garage door opening. One right there and there. Right there and then right there as well. I don't know if you remember my video of my white Lincoln Mark 8 and the chrome on the side of the car. This is like a rubberized chrome. It's really just bad on this door. But you can see all these freckles here in the door in the chrome. I don't know what would have caused that or why that would do that. It doesn't look bad from back here, but you can notice it up close. A couple more just starting on this door. Again, I'm not sure what that is. Now I've seen it twice. Uh, I don't know what would cause that because it's not real metal. It's not chrome. It's just uh, showing a little bit of uh, age, I guess. I'm, I don't know. Catch up to the back here. The deck lid. Beautiful white diamond paint. Does have a power antenna that works. We'll power that up. And you can see here, just little stuff. A couple little scuffs and little scrapes. But the chrome... Everything presents really well. The uh, material on the Continental kit is in really nice shape. It's a beautiful car. It's a road car. It's ready to rock and roll, rock and roll on the road. I'm gonna get the car turned around and we're gonna bring you on the inside and show you under the hood and inside the trunk and we'll take you for a quick spin. All right, we're gonna show you the inside of this beautiful 1999 Cadillac DeVille. Uh, this car, like I said earlier, it belonged to a good friend of mine, Paul. And uh, I call this the Pauly Walnuts car. I call him Pauly Walnuts, but uh, that's a reference to uh, <laughs> the Sopranos. This car would have been a car <laughs> that Pauly Walnuts in the Sopranos would have driven for sure with that Continental kit on the back and the top. So it just fits that my buddy bought this car for me and, uh, and it looks like that and it looks just like the Pauly Walnuts type of vehicle. You can see here how nice and clean the door jams are all on the bottom no rust anywhere this car is a really well preserved car even the door panel the driver's side here all the controls they show no wear it's in really nice shape all the jams you can see here nice and clean the sill plate nice and clean here we'll show you the interior whoop it's got a beautiful shale leather interior and the interior of this car is absolutely amazing really well kept well preserved and very gently used you can see here even the leather wrapped steering wheel is amazingly clean the carpet shows hardly anywhere driver's seat is really nice the leather is nice and soft uh, not overly used and worn out this car is a really nice example of this body style to build which you just don't see these many, uh, these that many of them on the road anymore. I'm gonna go around to the passenger side and we'll show you what the uh, inside of the passenger seat looks like. You can see here, just like on the driver's side, really clean, super, super clean in the jams. This car is a really nice survivor. 
Uh, some of you might notice that the interior lamps aren't on and you say, oh, why aren't the lights on? These cars have a photo cell sensor uh, that senses the car being outside and, and being obviously sufficient light enough that the interior lights do not come on uh, during the day. They actually brought that up into the next body style DeVille as well. You can see here the dash pad, all the wood trimmings on the dashboard. Really nice, my signature carpet treatment. Look how nice and clean that carpet is. And this really, all I did was to shampoo and make those lines. I just went over very lightly because this car was already super clean and well kept by my friend Paul that uh, it really didn't need an actual shampooing. It just needed the lines as we call it. So you can see here all inside the jam, nice and clean, sill plate. Let's get around to the back. I'll show you what the back's all about. Get these back doors opened up. Nice and wide door opening on these DeVilles. You can see here how nice and clean inside all the jam is. Obviously it wouldn't be a Cadillac without flip open ashtrays with cigarette lighters, of course, and tiny little ashtrays. Carpet, it's nice and clean, even over the center hump. The interior of this car smells beautiful. It's got a nice leather smell to it. Give you a quick shot of the dash. The only defect in this car that I noticed with the leather, and this was like that before I sold it to him as well, is it's got a scratch right here in the leather. Um, it's not a tear, it's not a cut. Uh, but it's like a scratch right in the leather there. It's, uh, it doesn't show unless you're right on top of it, but it is there and I wanted to point that out. Let's get around to the other side now. We'll open this left rear, take a good look inside there. You can see again, nice clean jams, door jams on the bottom, super clean, the sills. Just like the passenger, uh, driver's side or <laughs> passenger side, I was right the first time. Ashtray, cigarette lighter. You can see here, really clean. No Cheerios or melted candies in the back here. This car was really well kept and pampered. Up on the rear shelf. And then in the center here, this guy opens up. You have a nice dual cup holder and that pops out. So it's back in there. Fits right up in the back. But the back seat leg room is quite nice. You can see how far back these seats are and how much leg room is still in the back of these cars. This was a really nice body style, this DeVille. Let's open up the uh, hood and inside the uh, trunk lid. I'm gonna start it up as well. Show you what. Uh, what all the instrumentation looks like, all lit up. Savings of over 850 per bottle. Thirty-four thousand five hundred miles on this car. You can see here how nice and clean the leather wheel is. My buddy Paul is super, super picky when it comes to uh, the feel of a steering wheel. You can still feel the grain. You can feel the stitching. Uh, the dashboard is in nice shape. It does have a little bit of warpage just right in there where the defroster vent is. Kind of common for these cars, but it looks really good and shows really nice. Got the original uh, sound system, cassette deck. It was 1999. Nice clean ashtrays with another perfectly clean cigarette lighter. Obviously, you heard it before, the radio does work. In the building, talk to the Power antenna. And then you get all the uh, climate control over here. And then all the information screen here. And you can even shut all that stuff off if you just want to look at the speedometer, which is kind of cool. Over here, you got the Twilight Sentinel. I don't know what's on my hand. You can automatically or manually turn on your headlights. Trunk, we'll pop that. Gas cap. 
Uh, inside here is your cruise control and your wiper switch, but you can even see how nice and clean that is. None of the buttons are worn off or the writing, I should say, uh, are worn. It's, it's a really clean car. On the steering wheel here, you got a fan control. It turns your fan up and down. Temperature control also does the same. You can turn the temperature down. And then this is for the radio volume and select. Uh, I do have one set of keys right here with the car, with the remote. Uh, my buddy Paul does have a brand new set of gold keys for this car as well. Uh, that will be included. So let me pop open the hood here. I already popped the trunk and we'll show you inside that trunk lid. And we'll open up the fuel cap right there. And we'll open up. So this guy pops open. You can see it's automatically released. Flip that back. Obviously it's dead center of the bumper. It's in the way. It's kind of the most ridiculous thing ever, but it's super cool and it really goes with the car. Obviously removable if this is something you really hate. Uh, if someone's interested in this car and wants this removed, uh, let me know, uh, talk to me. I can probably get it removed, get the bumper fixed. It would have to be a new chrome strip installed because you can see the bolts go right through there. Um, but let me know if the Continental kit is a little just too much for you. Got all four floor mats, beautifully shampooed and conditioned. Paul had a set of mats over that. And then under here is a spare tire, a huge trunk. These DeVilles had a big, nice deep trunk. You can see here how, how deep this trunk is and it's even got the original cargo net. You close the deck lid down, still has the power trunk pull down. This was the last year for that in the Cadillac. Uh, 2000 when they switched back to the, uh, or they switched to the newer body style, uh, that feature was discontinued completely. So 99 was the last year of that uh, power trunk pull down. You can see the nice, beautiful chrome grill, that hood ornament. A couple things I should have pointed out, I forgot. A couple little chips on the leading edge of the hood. Nothing too crazy. A few of them are touched up here and there. Uh, nothing, like I said, too crazy, but I just uh, noticed those again. You can see here, 32 valve North Star V8. Uh, this car drives amazing. It runs great. Paul has had absolutely zero issues with this car. Like I said, all he really did was just preventive maintenance stuff. The brakes, uh, the tires were the original tires. So he just did some, some updates to it. But as far as runnability, as far as the dependability of this North Star, it's a super solid engine. Runs and drives beautifully. It's got a newer battery. This is a really, really nice car. I wouldn't hesitate to drive this one uh, on a daily basis. It's, it's a really nice piece. So that's the 99 DeVille. I'm gonna bring you on a little road test. I'm gonna get my plate on it and we'll take it for a quick spin. I'm back inside the 99 DeVille. I'm gonna take it for a quick road test and we'll wrap the video up here. Another reason why I like being outside. Oh, just before I get too far, you can see here the dashboard's going crazy. Actually, in real life, it's not. <laughs> It's, uh, there's some technical term for it. It's the pixels or something as I zoom away. It's per second of flash or whatever. It's a camera thing, I don't know. The, the dashboard is perfectly fine. So uh, I've had that happen on a few cars with digital gauges. Uh, you can see here as I get in close, it's weird. Uh, I'm not a techie nerd that knows anything about that stuff, but I have had a few people point that out like, oh, the cluster's going crazy. It's not, it's my camera versus the seconds or whatever that the digital LED display changes. Uh, so anyways, enough of that stuff that I have no idea about. But I'll take it out on the road here, give it a nice little ride. 32 valve North Star has got tons of power. These cars are torque monsters. They they get up and move quite nicely. Uh, this is a nice cruising car. It's nice and quiet inside the cabin here. And the car just runs down the road very, very nicely. You can see all the dash is really nice, really clean. Everything's, everything's really nice on the inside of this car. Brakes are nice and responsive. Uh, no pulsation. All the pads and rotors are new. Full wheel tires two years ago. Um, or the two year old tires. I think it was actually a year ago. He put the tires on. Oh, it drives me crazy. 
Uh, again, I just want to wrap up the video. If this is one of your first videos you've seen of mine, definitely uh, subscribe down in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, if you like this car, you think it's kind of cool, if, even if it's not your style, give me a thumbs up below. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, you can check me out on my website, specialtymotorcars.net. I'm also on Facebook. Uh, my name is Anthony. My phone number is 978-930-1004. Price for this 99 DeVille is down below in the comments. I always, or not in the comments, in the description. I always put it in the description. And then when the car is sold, I keep the price there and I would write sold as the first tagline so you'll know that the car is sold. Any questions, you can give me a call. My name is Anthony, 978-930-1004. I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you and have a great weekend.